Hi, welcome to CG Taiwan. My name is Hammer Chen. In this video tutorial, we are going to create a twister with Phoenix FD in 3DX Max. So let's get started. So let's start by open up Phoenix FD sample file. Go to your C drive and search for the file name called Nuke N U K E. In this same file, you could op uh, select the simulator 01 and uh, scroll down the menu to see there's a template. Uh, check the simulation setting and the rendering setting. We will save this as a preset. Uh, save the preset anywhere you like. We will use it later on. We start up a new 3DX Max scene. Go to the create panel and uh, first of all we create a simple plan. The size is roughly 20 by 20. And then we will create a Phoenix FD PHX simulator. This defines where the twister take place. And then scroll down the menu, you will see a template. Load up the preset we just created in the beginning. Next is to set up our uh, source of the fire or smoke. So in a create panel go to helper search for Phoenix FD we will create a Phoenix source. And uh, scroll down the menu at the mesh. This plan will uh, use as a smoke emitter. For the smoke to generate, you have to crank up the smoke val value from 0 to about 5. And right now we can hit start to see the simulation. As you can see, this generate a very fairly simple smoke with fire, and uh, there's a no, there's a no twister force add to it. So let's add one. Before you add force, you need to uh, install two plugin. One is Force Viewer. This will help object that lets you directly visualize the effect of spacecraft in the scene. Another is Peter Rogers Barrel Gravity. You can download it from 3x Max Plugins DE website. Okay, let's add a, the force. Um, go to the force, create panel force, and uh, particle extension. You can see there's a spiral gravity. Click and drag, and drag, and finish. Uh, this will create the inner radius and outer radius and uh, the height of this spiral gravity. To visualize the force, you have to go to helper, go to force viewer. And this force viewer is uh, much like a simplex grid. So you could uh, 
increase the height so this cover up all this spiral or spiral gravity and the XY resolution type anything you like I set it to 2020 20 by 20 and uh, add the spiral force to it so now you can visualize the spiral force that my added to our phoenix later on so now let's take a look this spiral gravity as you can see this uh, this line indicate the vector that drive the particle or the phoenix but we want the force to be focused to the inner and up so you could adjust the inner strength, down strength and angle of it to make it to make the force more focused toward the inside and up the angle strength create a circular force around our particle and the down strength and the inward strength create a up or down or inward force to the particle after we set up for the force we can simulate the phoenix FD again as, as you can see the smoke go up fairly quickly that's because the force drive it up and uh, in this case we don't need any gravity in this system so uncheck the standard gravity now the now this smoke only goes up driven driven by the spiral gravity not the standard gravity of Phoenix FD Next, we need to fine tune our result. As you can see, in this case, uh, we display the fire part. So, go to rendering and pre uh, go to the preview and uncheck the temperature. So, right now, we only display the smoke. And for temporary, we unhide the force viewer. We, we hide the force viewer. And uh, to extend uh, this grid automatically, you can check the adaptive grid to smoke. So therefore, when you start simulation, the grid will extend when the smoke reach its limit. There's there's a uh, many parameter we need to adjust. First is the maximum space, uh, maximum step, increase it to about thirty. And uh, we could uh, you should adjust your spiral gravity and make sure it's uh, influence. Phoenix FD. So I drag it down a little bit. So I unhide the force viewer and uh, adjust its Z resolution to 5 so we can 
the uh, uh, force vector more clearly. And uh, so let us change the color to white. And go back, select our spiral gravity. Adjust, increase the angle. Just this inward and outward strength. You might set the friction to about point one. And for the Phoenix source, I increase the discharge from forty to hundred, and the smoke st smoke values. So let's hit the simulation start again. To increase the simulation time, in simulation speed, I increase the size of our grid. So now you can roughly see our smoke is influenced by the twister. So right now if we hit render in, the result is very ugly. Since Phoenix FD is product of Chaos Blue, we will use V-Ray as our render. So go to rendering setting and uh, set the default render set the render to V-Ray. In the uh, in the red animation we turn on and uh, set the preset for inverting spec to very low. Uncheck the multiplies and the renderize sample. In the setting we will uncheck the show windows. For the environment check GI environment and set its value to about 0 0.5 and the render again. So still very ugly. So now we need to create a light to make it cast shadow. So let's create a target direct. And make sure this light cone cover up all this twister area. So in the directional parameter, I increase the hotspot and beam. Check the shadow and uh, change it to be a shadow. In the shadow parameter, check the atmosphere shadow. we see a better result. I change the color to roughly yellowish. Okay. So that's now we got there's a few things we need to improve. First of all it's uh, too bright and uh, it's too blurry and lost almost all detail of it. What we can do is to select the Phoenix FD and uh, scroll down the menu you will see uh, a sample, t sample type. The default is spherical. Change it to, to truncated. Uh, now rendering again you will see all this 
maximum is rendered out without blurring it. As long as your grid size is small enough, you will show uh, many details if you want. And uh, in the color and the transparency, the default diffuse color is set to white. We are going to we are creating a twister or smoke, so let's change the color to gray. So now it's much like a twister. You can in, you can crank crank up the multiplier of this scattering from one to about four. Now you see the uh, light multiple scattering when, pa when light pass through the twister. If you like, you, you can increase the light intensity to about two. Now we almost done. Uh, to make a, a final render, a final simulation, to you can lower down the cell size of your Phoenix FD. So let's set it to about 10 and simulate again. Also, you could uh, adjust the size of your uh, smoke source. Okay, this is the final simulation result for when we use the cell size. It's uh, roughly too bright, and uh, the final word is uh, gamma. To fine tune the rendering results, we can go to gamma and then en enable the gamma correction. Check the effect color selector and uh, effect material editor. Input gamma 2.2, output to 2.2. In the V-Ray rendering setting, scroll down the V-Ray color map and uh, set the gamma to 2.2 and uh, check this the pixel mapping and uh, don't affect color. So this is the tutorial, I hope you like it, bye bye.